So this is how my roof rack rail fits or doesn't fit on the front runner rack system. I'll show you how it looks. I just put the, I kind of forced the bracket to fit in. Um, but as you see, it doesn't line up. And on the side, if you see this, these two nuts right here, including the plastic cap, is preventing the bracket make full contact with the bar, the supporting bar right here. So it's apparently this is not a good installation. And I couldn't even do this on the other side of the uh, of the rack. So, so as a solution, I got this from Front Runner. Uh, it came with four of these brackets in one package. I paid about one hundred dollars plus tax and shipping separately. I don't think there is a wrong way or the right way of installing the rooftop tent on the truck bed rack system. For me, it is important to be able to move the rooftop tent from the truck to the trailer or vice versa uh, whenever we need to. For that, I decided to keep the rail attached to the rooftop tent uh, without moving it. Reinstalling the rail requires opening the tent and reaching out all the way inside underneath the mattress and unbolting and rebolting. Um, yeah, it's a hassle. It's more hassle than um, putting the screws into the brackets and tighten that up. I figured the latter case is a lot easier. I used two wooden blocks stacked together on each side to lift up the tent a little bit higher so that I can push the brackets in. Uh, once I do that, um, just make sure um, the middle hole uh, on the brackets lines up perfectly with the, uh, with the rail. And the rest of the step is quite straightforward. Uh, just put the screws in and tighten that up and repeat three more times and you're done. So this is how it looks when it's done. The tent still flush with the top of the truck pretty well. I don't think wind resistance will be a major issue here. So this is the finished look. The Tepuit rooftop tent that I have is Kukenam 3 for 3 adults.